All right, guys. It is Monday, the 15th of July. We're going to be tackling agriculture by Mr. Pepsi and Agribu. That's not how you spell the that's not how you spell the drink. It's Pepsi with an I. <coughs> Let's see what this track is. Could be um rally car. Who knows what it actually is? It could just be dirt stadium car. That's a safe bet because I saw I actually saw a graph of like track of the days and it was like the most popular style is dirt with grass being second which is you know I kind of expected grass to be first but I guess it makes sense it does make sense dirt and grass are like the the styles I happen to enjoy those two styles. Grass more than dirt, but I do like both of them. So, it's a good thing that they're the most popular. I don't know, hope for it to be a, a, a different car, but it's whatever. I understand that stadium car probably is still the the pick. Cause it's like I'm I'm thinking about it now, it's like With the stadium car you have all these different styles, right? You have tech, you have full speed, you have dirt, you have grass. I've not heard of that kind of system, though, to be fair, I didn't play those other cars as much. Um, but, um, I don't know if, like, other, like, styles exist for the, the other cars. Like, is there a tech for rally car like you're not doing drifts in the rally car you don't even want to drift just the finish yes certainly looks like it yeah it is you jump into the barn at the end whoa Actually, I, I just noticed this barn uses the new orange color very effectively. I need to figure out how to do those colors in the editor. So I would love to use those new colors. Oh God. I needed to hold left a little bit longer. Fine, we'll do this in one run. And then I'm going to have an improvement no matter what. It's just still not going to be great. Woo! We're up and in. Now for an even better run, hopefully. Oh my god, why did my camera do that? Why? I didn't even hit anything. Use me, Cam 2. I need you to behave. For my preferred camera. Don't 
Just do crazy stuff to do crazy stuff. I have a question. Hold on. I need to check something. This is orange. That's uncolored. That's orange. This is uncolored. This is lime. I have a suspicion. So. It's made of ice. Uh, okay. So the track that I made during my quote unquote vacation, um, I made before the new colors came out, right? I made it before the new colors came out. That's really clever. Um, and that's, yeah. I made it before the new colors came out. Because of that, I had like, you know, if you watch those videos, my track was red and green primarily. I had a green, I had a green block in it and then everything else was red or white. Obviously, white, I don't think, was changed. I don't even know if black was, too. Um, regardless, I made that track red. When I opened the track <coughs> in the with, with the new stunt colors, suddenly, my red track was now orange. I have a strong suspicion that that's what happened here. Because I don't see any old colors other than white and black. But I don't think those have changed. Um, and then the track pieces are uncolored. So, the things that do have color, the barns, which are brown, which are brown, which are normally red. And so I'm guessing, and there's also like the, the, the like the agricultural machinery that's on the field. That's like a lime green color. I have a strong feeling. Hold on, let me test. What color is this dog's tongue? Orange. Yeah, I'm leaning on the side that, oh, I just watched the GPS thing go away. I'm on the side that believes this track was made before the color change. And then for some reason, Nadeo decided that what you need to do when you Nadeo decided that when you make a new tr when you when you make a new color scheme, they're just gonna make it so that by default the new color scheme is the one that old tracks load in. Which makes no sense. Not a single bit of sense. Because it turned my track orange, and it turned this track with its barns and its agriculture orange. Orange barns are kind of weird. Barns are red, and I bet you, I bet you they were red, but now they're not red because for some reason this old track was loaded, and now it's now it's orange. And the agricultural equipment is like a lime green, which it's not usually, like if you're, if you're going for the like stereotypical John Deere tractor, that's a dark green. And I'm sure the def I'm sure the old like green, blue, red, black, white color scheme, that green is a lot darker. and would have made a lot more sense to be on uh, a piece of agricultural equipment. I don't know what specifically that one is. I know I've seen it before. I just don't know what it's called. So I'm not being specific when, in what I'm calling it. Um, so like, I'm almost certain that this track was once supposed to look more, more accurate. And instead looks kind of weird. Now we have like an orange barn. Oh, do I do I get an improvement? Nope, I don't. That's my guess. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. 
why Nadeo thought it would be a good idea to turn new old tracks into the new color scheme. That's a little confusing. But, you know, it'd be how it is, I guess. Oh god, I'm jumping where I don't need to be jumping. And you know what? I'm saying all this. Maybe it was intentional. Maybe they did ma mean to make orange barns and lime green uh, farming equipment. And dogs have orange tongue. I don't know. Like, who knows? Maybe that was done on purpose. I certainly don't think that that's the case. I don't believe the mappers at waypoint specifically would make a orange track or would would do something like that i feel like they would know how to make an a, a red barn and i feel like a red barn is like the standard <laughs> stereotypical barn you know so to make it orange would be a bold move and i'm not saying that waypoint won't make bold moves. It just feels like, why would you do that? It, I, in my opinion, the, or, the orange barn is not a bold move I would make. Cause you just make the barn red. You already used some clever tactics with like the slats to imitate siding, like the angled plastic blocks to imitate siding, which is cool. The problem is it's orange. I don't think it's supposed to be orange. And the only other colors in this track are green, orange, and uh, black, and white. The, two, the black and white, the two color, and yellow, I guess. But yellow is the default color, so that was not changed. Only two of those colors that I listed would have been affected because the black and white weren't, and the yellow wasn't because the yellow's default. So you have to wonder. The, the thing that would give it away is if there was, um... Blue? Because the only three colors that are changed other than... Because it's five colors. It's black, white, red, green, blue. And now with the new colors, it's uh, orange, lime, uh, light blue, uh, black and white, I believe. Something tells me that there's a purple, but I don't actually remember. Honestly, I'm still on team. Just let me make whatever color I want. Just give me like a color picker and apply it. Because you clearly can. We now have a new set of colors that we can use. Just let me put... I'm sure it's not hard to make new colors. I'm sure you're just coloring an existing, you, you've made a gray asset, like a grayscale asset that you're just pasting a color value onto. That would be the way I'd do it. And then it's scalable. You can make whatever the heck color you want. You can do purple, you can do pink, you can whatever color, that would be sick. That would be a great mapping tool for mappers. You can just, you just, you can just, you can hide it behind, like, an advanced mode or something, too. You can show them the normal, like, red, black, green, blue, uh, white. <laughs> and then if the user's like, I want other colors, you can just pop out a color wheel. I'm sure there's a way you can do it that makes it, like, blend in with the UI. I'm gonna die on this hill. Give me whatever, let me be, let me use whatever color I want. Because then you can make some sick tracks. The only the thing the thing stopping people is the complexity. Like in good mappers, like the 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 team mappers, someone who's not me I make. I feel like I make good tracks, but I'm 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 not an advanced mapper. I guess I shouldn't say good mappers. I should say advanced map users, editor users. Um, they can, you know, they they go into Blender. They make these huge three D three D model tracks. They use default or custom textures to like make these really nice looking tracks 
But that's not like achievable for the average person. You know what it is? Giving giving people the ability to make the out, the borders colorable to whatever. Then you have a whole bunch of blocks that can be colored. And then you've opened the door for every person to be able to make ridiculously cool tracks with all these cool new colors and stuff. And it's not even that like that you've Oh, you've crashed the barrier of entry. That it's not like, oh, you gotta know how to do blender or texturing and all this, blah, blah, blah. You just like, all right, you just put the color wheel and you make it purple. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Again. You finished, what well, you see what happened was, I, I, previous Canada had a TED talk about the fact that this map probably is colored wrong. And then the current Canada was the one who came after, like it's the TED talk and then you, you know, you go through a couple speakers who do the TED talk. I was, you looked at like the agenda and it said Canada and then it said Canada again. It literally said Canada again. It didn't say Canada. It didn't say Canada too. It said Canada again. And so when Canada walked off the stage, talking about how this map was colored wrong by the by the developers and not by them, by the mappers, I you know Canada walked off stage, and then me, also Canada, <laughs> walked on stage and started speaking about. Getting up on my high horse and saying, I want to be able to use any color I want. While we're at it, let me color other things. Make more things colorable. Like, obviously this this is fine because it's dirt and then it's affected by the color. Are these beams affected by color? How are... What the fuck are these? These are all affected by color. You get the borders of tracks. That's affected by color. That's fine. That's fine. That's affected by the, the things that are affected by most of the things that are affected by color are fine. Can be affected by color. That's good enough. But like, I want to make like the outside. Like, give us multicolorable things. I get it that the UI would be hard for that, and I'm not asking for that immediately. But like, what if I wanted to make the border this border not blue? If I wanted to make it like red or whatever color, that that would be sick. And like. Trying to think. These aren't those. The blocks that are like the plus. I really don't know how to describe it because they're not in here. They look like this, but are not made of this plastic stuff. Uh -huh. I want to be able to color those. Uh, uh, they're not this. Those individually. Like, let me color this thing. This is all made of plastic, so I can't like talk about it being uncolorable because it's colorable. Yeah, like, I don't... Let me color more things, and maybe let me color th things with different colors. Like, multi-colorable multi things. Let me... Let me go crazy. Because if I can think of a bunch of cool ideas that I can do with that, the community is way better than I am. And we'll think of some really sick stuff. And we'll realize some really cool things. Oh, uh, I was, I held right a little bit too long.
Let me color all the things. Let me color the checkpoint. Like, the checkpoints, they're blue. I get it. Like, that's, like, the color of checkpoints. And maybe this can be the controversial thing. Maybe you just leave them blue. That's fine. It's okay for them to be blue. You can recognize it with your mind. That's a checkpoint. Maybe just, like, give the option to color the checkpoints. Because then you can theme them, and then they wouldn't have to be... Because you can, you can make checkpoints different colors. You just have to texture them. It'd be really cool to just have them be not blue. And then, like, oh, sure, you can make them red and bait people into thinking it's a finish line. But, like, there's devious things you can do with this game all the time. The people who aren't going to do devious things with the with the track builder are going to do some crazy, crazy things. They're going to result in amazing maps. Also, I lost the gear. This is probably not going to be an improvement anymore. Woo! I definitely can see that it's possible for me to get an improvement. I've talked to nothing about me driving this track. I've been driving it kind of on autopilot while having all of these rants. But honestly, me talking more in the video is more interesting than me just going, Ooh, I made it. That was close. I'm making fun of myself, but I'm, I'd like... There are some days where I'm just, like, not feeling it. I'm tired. Who knows? Like, I had a long day at work. Or something. Or I'm just like, I can't think of something to say. But saying nothing is not entertaining, so I have to think of something. And then there are days like today where the, the map has given me a subject to talk about, and then I just keep thinking about things related to said subject. Wouldn't it be cool if we could make it any color? We can make any any of these colorable blocks any color. That'd be pretty sick. Be, be, you could do some really cool things with that. I know I would do a, a lot of really cool things with that. I want... <laughs> I want so much. And I get it. It takes a while to develop stuff like that. It's fine. Take it, let, it, let it take its time. But maybe, like, say that, hey, we're working on a way that you can put in as many colors as you want. Or have someone make an open planet plugin that like reverse reverse engineers the way the colors work and then like you gain the ability to choose whatever colors you want. And it's like not a mod. I don't know if that would even be a possibility, but just you know, like things like that. And then it's like I want that, and then it's like I also want I want the rest of the cars. I wanna drive Island. I want to drive canyon. I want to drive valley. Coast. You know, I, I know nothing about coast. And that's probably, you know, not a good thing. Because coast apparently is... <clears throat> coast seems really technical. Lagoon seems really fun. Island is crazy. And bay is also kind of crazy in its own way. I want all these cars. But, like, that takes development time. It took... You know, they did three cars over the course of a year, I think. <clears throat> it's going to take time for them to add the rest of the cars. They're still, what, mm, Coast Bay Island. I'm trying to think of all the cars. Coast Bay Island, Valley, Canyon, Island. Uh, no. Coast. Bay, Island, Canyon, Valley, Lagoon. <laughs> I feel like there are cars that I'm missing. Those are the ones that I can. There's six, at least. That are that are that are not in the game yet. I think it would be sick to have them.
I know that like the super new cars like Lagoon, Canyon, and Valley. Uh, they're pretty new already. And for them to come to this game would be... Not a, I don't know. I get it that they added these three cars that they added because they are the old ones and Trimania is having an anniversary. <coughs> well, like, wouldn't it be cool if, like, we had all of them? And this was the Trackmania game with all the cars? Kind of like Trackmania United? This is like a Trackmania United 2 if we do that. And it's like super not as broken as the other ones. I also, I, I know I've said this before, I want to see how the devs make the new cars fit in with the Trackmania 2020 style. I like the way that they did all the new, all the, all the classic cars like Snow Car, Valley. I'm uh, sorry, Snow Cart, Rally, and Desert. I want to see. I want to see what the Lagoon car looks like. I want to see what the Canyon car looks like. I want to see what the Rally car, or the Valley car looks like. God, I'm gonna get those confused because they're so close. I want to see the Island car. I want to see the Coast car. The Bay car. They're all gonna be sick. I want all these things. I know they take time, but I want them. Wow, that part is hard. Ah. No. I mean, it'd be cool to have, like, all, like, this, for this game to be the Trackmania. Right? The, the Trackmania game. It has everything from all the other Trackmanias. It has all the cars. It has all the modes. You could have, you could have puzzle in here. You could have, uh, well, stunts already in. You could have whatever that is. Platform, I think, is the name of that. I just know of it because a lot of desert card, for some reason. I know of a lot of desert card platform maps. I don't know why I, like, I'm, it existed for other game modes. It's just like that's the ones that I know. Uh, like platform and puzzle. Who knows how many people would play it, but you know, it'd be cool anyways. <laughs> and you know, this is, a, this is a novel concept. Maybe just like do shoot mania too. I know the dude, I know the guy is in the game. You can walk around as a dude and like shoot mania like you can have the the cool like competitive shooter or the like arena shooter that Shumania was, but then like you can stem it off and you can do like you can do like parkour. You could have like cool parkour maps where there's no shooting, and then you could like integrate that as like just like a, a game mode of the first person mode. It doesn't even have to be called Shumania; it could just be called like first person dude. And then like sure, Track Mania is no longer a racing game. It's like a racing game with like a uh, a first-person element that sometimes exists. But it could be cool. Who knows if that's the vision, but that would be sick. I would try it. I'm big into, like, movement in first-person games. But regardless, I'm gonna stop ranting now as we've hit the end of the episode. I will see you all tomorrow, where I probably won't rant for the entire episode, as I won't have something crazy to talk about. I've talked about it all. <laughs> I will see you all tomorrow, where we'll tackle whatever track happens to be the track of the day for the day. Until then, I hope you enjoy the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you all later.